to start by saying that the Friends of the Rock City Skate Park would like to thank Mayor Warren for having courage to push this project forward and believing in its virtues ever since her days as President of City Council. To all the members of the Rock the Riverway Council for, for voting to provide us with the necessary funding to get across the threshold, especially Sean Dunwoody who has supported us since the, our first fundraiser at his gallery 11 years ago. We'd also like to thank Mitch Gruber and the med members of City Council, Commissioner Lyman Torres, Jim Farr, John Picone, Christina Heidlin-Gonthaler, I hope I did that right, from the Department of Recreation and Youth, the Tony Hawk Foundation for their guidance and support and financial generosity. We'd also like to thank all the citizens and donors of Rochester, Rochester that have believed and supported this project even when it seemed impossible. Today we stand here to witness the next step in the culmination of hard work, perseverance, and partnership between city government and a dedicated group of citizens. This skate park, when completed, will be a piece of the puzzle that represents the future, the new future of Rochester, New York. A Rochester that is turning a new leaf by embracing its community and pursuing fresh new ideas while looking to the future and making choices that will continue to make this city grow to be a better place for people across all social and economic barriers. This skate park will also show the youth and families that currently live here that they will be included in the new downtown experience. The Friends of the Rock City Park Skate Park have worked hard by partnering with Drys, the city school district, and local businesses in the community to participate in a variety of events, all to show that these once frowned upon activities such as skateboarding, BMX, scootering, and late rollerblading can be used as a great way to build up communities when they are properly built and, and partaken in. in sanctioned locations. We hope when this park is completed it will be the tipping point for the Rochester area and its surrounding towns to embrace the concept of using properly designed and constructed skate parks and the participants of what we call progression oriented sports in order to enhance the lives of their citizens and businesses. We all look forward to continuing to work with our government officials and all of our fellow Rochesterians to make this city grow and be a better place for everyone. Thank you. So a lot's been said about the perseverance of uh, myself and the group um, for sticking it out. This person was an infant when I started this project <laughs> 11 years and 8 months ago. Um, and it's often, people ask me why I've stuck with it for so long. I don't participate in any of these sports um, and I probably never will. It's hard. They're really hard. Um, my response is simple. It's credibility. I promised my children that I would build a skate park. And I did not qualify that promise with unless it gets hard, or unless there's obstacles to overcome, or unless it takes a long time. Um, this credibility carries over to other parts of their life. Uh, and they trust me, and this tr trust helps them feel secure. And every single child in Rochester deserves to be treated in this manner. To trust grown-ups and to feel secure. There can be no broken promises, even if the promise has challenges to work through and obstacles to overcome. Sadly, one of the children who trusted us to build a skate park where he could feel secure is no longer with us. Akira Matthews died after being hit by a car on his skateboard on this exact day, October 9, 2010. Akira's mother, Sheila, is here with us today. And Sheila, please let Akira know we did keep the promise we made, it, uh, we made to him and that you, his spirit, and his memory have helped us work through many obstacles and overcome many challenges. The Rock City Skate Park will have a uh, lot of meaning and represent different things to different people. I will forever see a skate park as a representation of a credible volunteer working board, dedicating countless hours of their own time to the mission of improving the health and well-being of our community. I will forever see a representation of credibility among our business leaders and sponsors who are providing the resources to make the vision of the skate park a reality including Justin Barnes, Xerox Corporation, Nelson Newhouse, Sutherland Global, Sage Ruddy, rg &E, Ralph C. Wilson and Tony Hawk Foundations, and the Sands family, who provided our nonprofit unrestricted startup funds and are matching every dollar we raise up to $110,000 that will be restricted to construction of the skate park. And finally, I will always see a representation of credible city leaders who despite having to work through challenges and overcome obstacles are building a skate park because they promised the children of Rochester they would build a skate park. And there is no better reason, no more important or better reason to build a skate park. Thank you, Mayor Warren, Commissioner Dr. Danielle, 